What does your shirt say? Evil Dead. Oh, it's really cool, actually. It's from Fright Rag. Sponsor me, please. I buy a lot of your shit. Uh, I'm real bad at this because it's like reverse. Hey guys, so it's been a minute. I've been busy, but we did go to see... It's been a lot of minutes. Yeah. We went to see Evil Dead Rise on its opening weekend, which I am incredibly proud of us for doing because that never happens. Um, I went back to school, so like that's where I've been. It's been rough. I'm done now. Still traumatized. But I'm still here. Yeah. On so, um, yeah. The, this film definitely has the same kind of vibes as... I think it was the 2013... Evil Dead remake, which I absolutely loved. I thought it was done really, really well. Like, the OG Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead 2, really hold, like, a special place in my heart. They're amazing. They're some of my favorite movies. And they're, like, incredibly campy, which I also very much love. But it seems like they took on a lot more serious tone with the... 2013 remake as well as Evil Dead Rise where there's really not like a lot of funny moments. It's mostly just like the eh, most depends on how dark your sense of humor is. Well, true. Uh so there were some funny moments in Evil Dead Rise like Stephanie, that was pretty funny. Um I just feel like it's that horror and that gore that just really gets under your skin. Because they go for the, the certain body parts you never want to um, imagine anything being punctured or bitten or ripped out of, like, oh. your eyes or things like that or, you it know. It was brutal. There was, like, a lot of instances where, like, we couldn't stop looking and uh <laughs> it was a it was a little like we actually were screaming um, i was like oh no yeah there was a lot of like just grabbing each other and <laughs> killing oh shit because it was like you saw that they would place things and you take a mental note because you watch a lot of horror movies and you're like okay how does that come into play later oh my god like it paid off it paid off a lot uh this particular evil dead started out in a location we weren't really expecting, like it kind of started out in the future and then it was like a one day earlier type of thing. So uh, the main film does take place in an apartment building, it, like a pretty tall apartment building. Like there were a lot of floors in it. It was like an old school one. Yeah. It was, in Cal California. Was I think it was like LA. Yeah. It was beautiful. Like the apartment itself was gorgeous and I love how it was decorated. Side note. But it's uh, a family with a single mom, uh, three children, and the mom's sister comes to visit. She is a roadie, not to be confused with a groupie, several times that we, as we were told. She's a guitar tech, and yeah. she's trying to make chief tech. She wants to be chief tech. She uh, tuned that Ibanez and told that guy where it was. Um, so there's an earthquake as, you know... Yeah, is, is is commonplace in California, I guess. Terrifying. I have friends that live in California, and it always makes me concerned every time I hear earthquakes. But the earthquake unearths part of the apartment building. Like, the whole building was, like, or part of the building, at least, was a bank. bank. Yeah. Yeah. So it just so happens to crack open, and you wonder, like, what actually caused this earthquake? And the son goes down, and of course he finds the Necronomicon and a record, which we know has the words on it, as we've seen in every Evil Dead film. There's a cat fight going on in our hallway. We're just yelling. And he's a DJ, so of course he has, like, turntables, and he's like, oh, I'm just going to play this. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, the vault itself was gorgeous until you get to the part with like all the hanging uh religious iconography yeah. and then there's like this huge statue of jesus that just like comes down like, <laughs> and it's huge and it it's... scared the crap out of me because i hate statues and everything oh that was hilarious. and it was just like oh jesus like literally you know that was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah that that was the scary part for me so obviously what do you do is uh, open the book, bleed on the book, and listen to the record, which he didn't listen far enough to hear, like, what actually happens, like, in uh, 
the mm-hmm. OG Evil Dead when they're in the cabin and it's like, oh, this has happened to my wife and something's going on with my daughter. And then it gets like progressively worse because what do you do when demons are happening around you is record things. Mm-hmm. Why is that your first impulse? I suppose to warn people, but like you couldn't have put like a big arrow with a plaque like don't mess with this. Yeah. But... Yeah. Like don't open this. Don't yeah. Look. Don't Some, play this. I mean, the, the Jesus statue would have deterred me enough. That would have scared the Jesus out of me. <laughs> but so um, as you do in an Evil Dead movie, um, the mom gets possessed, as we've seen in the trailer. And uh, horrible things just keep happening and happening. And uh, they just proceed to keep happening. So um, I don't want to give too much away. Like, we know what we're in for. That's why we watched the movie. That's why you're watching this review. Like, you know what you want out of this movie. And and you get it. In my humble opinion, you definitely get it. Um, oh, my God. I didn't feel like there was a really strong plot to this movie. But also, I really don't care. <laughs> you know? Like, they, like, gave people some little backstories, some things that are going on with them. And then they were just like, all right. And everything. And just, I was tense this entire, like, after, you know, the opening. I was just tense. I was tense during the opening with the flashback. Mm -hmm. There's some parts that you're just like, you know how movies like to show you a little bit, but then not the whole thing. And then they'll show you like the aftermath. This just took you for the entire ride, which I totally loved. Um, very tense. My little hands hurt after we watched the movie because I was clenching them in fists. So that should be a sign. Um, the gore, the gore in this is amazing. The blood, amazing. The acting was okay. Some of it, I felt like, did you feel like their accents changed a little bit? Yeah, a little. I don't know what a California accent is supposed to sound like other than a Valley Girl accent, which like the mom had a lot of speaking roles and I didn't, are you Am I boring you? Yes, you are. Okay, so sorry. Um, So the mom had the most speaking roles in this, and I feel as though sometimes her voice, like the accent kind of changed, and I understand she was being inhabited by, you know, I think like she kind of tried, they they kind of tried to make it like the demon changed her voice or whatever. That could be. So like I can see that, but it was sometimes it was like too, like it wasn't consistent, like. It, there wasn't a consistent difference between when yeah. she was being possessed and then when even when she was possessed and she was trying to like tempt the other people and she went back to the mom voice it still didn't sound the same it yeah was weird which i get though because i mean she went through a lot of trauma in this movie maybe mm. it could have damaged her vocal cords i don't know reaching but that could be a reason <clears throat> um what did you like about this movie um, I liked the pure shock value of this, of this movie. Like, I went into it, like, Evil Dead. Like, I know what Evil Dead is, you know? I understand it. I've watched the 2013 remake. i watched all the originals. Like, I understood that this was going to be more like the 2013 remake. Mm-hmm. I still was not prepared for what I saw. Yeah. It was graphic. Yeah. And, but I really liked how inventive it, it was. The drone. Yeah. The cheese grater, this like everything. Staffany. Staffany was hilarious, <laughs> but I liked how they were very original with a lot of the kills. I appreciated that. I appreciate that it wasn't the same stupid shit over and over again that you see in horror movies. Like, oh, there's blood, there's gore. Da-da. I liked how inv- inventive it was. I really liked that. It was like if they took a poll of people being like, what's the like cringiest, like, what's your ick for being injured? And they compiled a master list and they just went off of it. The one person who I'm pretty sure choked to death on something. Oh. That was... Yeah, we were talking about that in the car. I was like, I was like, I was like, we even watched the movie after this one because it was a double feature at yeah. that he's driving, and I was even like, wait, did that guy die from choking on the? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I think he did because he was, you know, we yeah. both took BLS. He was clutching his throat. Yeah. He wasn't making any sounds, and like, eventually, you're gonna, you're gonna die if you have an obstruction. So. 
for sure. Oh my god. So what was your favorite part? Oh man, um, there's so many. I obviously really liked the gore. I really liked how fast paced everything was because I have horrible ADD. Um, I like that there was a lot of like recalls and lines to that the original good, yes. ones, you know, like come get some and dead by dawn. I'm pretty sure someone said I'll swallow your soul. Probably. Uh-huh. I assume she did. I was just very tense. Um, I like that. Uh, we didn't necessarily, we weren't spelled out to have an Ash character, but we fully had an Ash character, but it wasn't like they threw it in your face and slapped a label on them. It was kind of like, you were like, Oh yeah. There's a particular scene with two items that you're like, Ashley Williams, that's you girl. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like they did that in the remake, which like, also I don't care because I loved it so much. There's just certain, certain scenes that just stick with you. And this was one of those movies that like, I'm laying in bed, listening to Jersey Shore trying to fall asleep just thinking about some of the scenes like oh that was disgusting why would you do that you know it like like this scene yeah just like all the intrusive horrible thoughts you could possibly have were um (laughs) ways to maim people in this movie and or dispatch them um i i don't think there was any music in this movie no i I was thinking about that like I was trying to think, like, what was the score like? And I really don't remember because I was just so attentive to what was happening. I think, like, the only part that I can really think of that had music was when the son was, like, DJing in his room, just, like, having the best time. I loved that for him. Um, All right, so is there anything you didn't like about the movie? Um, hmm. I want to know what happens after this. Like, I hope that this opens us up for, like, another sequel, perhaps. That would be great. Yeah, because the beginning scene kind of goes, kind of... It brings it full circle. Yeah, it brings it full circle. But then you're like, what What? What else? Because, obviously, there's other people in the apartment building. This was, like, most of the action was just shot on the on one the, floor yeah. or in the apartment itself. So, like... The part when they're coming down the elevator and the buttons are filling up with blood and there's quite a number of them. I was like, oh no, like, is this on every floor? Or like, how is this working? Um, I would have, one thing I would have liked is that they never would have made any references to cats because now I'm still wondering, like, is that cat okay? Can cats turn into deadites? Because uh, the one guy's cat just like... Terrifying. Oh my God, yeah. And like, what do you do? They're so cute. Like, even if they're ugly, they're still fucking cute because they're cats uh the one guy was like oh blah 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 is back up in those vents and um at one point the deadite like looks up at the vent and you hear like a meow and i was like no 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 yeah. we're not doing this yeah don't ruin this movie for me i don't care what you do to humans do not involve a cat in this that's just like don't do that um all right uh i guess the only the only thing if i had to pick something is i don't like how they put the scene at that the be, be, beginning scene you could have just had that at the end they could have i just like and that kind of like you know because then the whole movie the whole movie i was looking for those char- characters i feel that's like that's the thing that they kind of distracted me for the whole movie i no not me i feel like um the purpose of that scene was just to like punch you in the face immediately with some <laughs> scary shit and be like what 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 is happening? I thought this was a thing with, like, mom, because the mommy's with the maggots. Like, that was in the trailer. And you're like, I don't think she's a mom. Oh, my God. That's a she, you, mommy's what's with happening? the maggots. No. Or when she called her kids uh, titty-sucking parasites. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> that was cracking Oh, up. shit. That was amazing. Oh. Um, I, I really, really, really want to watch this again um, now. But it's nowhere streaming, uh, which is very disappointing. I might watch the remake or like any of the Hello, honey, I little cat. cat or any of the movies just to like quench that thirst a little bit. I really, really, really liked this movie. All right. So what would you give it out of, out of 10? Did out of 10? Did we, we do, do five? Five or 10? Five. Oh, um, so I'd probably give this like a four out of five. I really had a good time watching it. 
Uh, sometimes it's satisfying to see things happen to like bratty children in films mm -hmm. that you're just like, why didn't you listen? Yeah. Why didn't you listen? Yeah, awful, awful kids. Why didn't you put the book back? Yeah, well, I would also give it a four out of five. I thought nice. this was like if you, if you absolutely, if you love, if you love gory stuff and you're not squeamish, you're gonna love this movie. This was, it was, you know, it's not the strongest plot. In no, the, no. But it's not supposed to be. I'm not here for the like, plot. Like we didn't go to film school. I'm not here to break down the existential meaning behind certain scenes. And it, no, no, I just wanted to watch them to get fucked up by crazy random stuff and it did it served its purpose perfect it did it was great it I did what it was it was what it's supposed to be i loved it i did too I, and uh sam raimi and bruce campbell are involved in it and i felt like he could taste a little of that flavor in Groovy. there unfortunately i don't think they said that but no, that that's didn't. a missed opportunity but um, what did you guys think about this movie? What do you think about remakes of uh, Evil Dead in general? Let us know in the comments down below. You can hit like if you liked the video. Or you could hit like if you like this reference that we keep making. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. And nope. No, is that right? And mm -hmm. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram... And, and TikTok. TikTok at Reanimator. And you can uh, follow me on Twitch at Repeat Viking. You can also follow me on TikTok at Repeat Viking. And if you look on Twitter and you type in Repeat Viking, you'll find this guy again. And if you want to listen to our videos uh, via podcast, you can find that um, through the Farsighted on iTunes. And please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Yes. And I hope you all are having a great day. And mind those cheese graters. Bye. I love this shirt. I was going to wear this shirt to the premiere, but I didn't want to be that guy that wears the shirt of the band to see the band. Did I spend $7 on a novelty cup? I sure did. And you can take him off. And like, thing. it's so cute. That was full of high C because my partner is a child. I love it. I want to take it to work, but I'm absolutely going to knock it over and get water everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. So we're not good. Cats? Hello? I found one. Oh. I found a wiggly one. Oh. My little boopy. Unhappy. Oh. Can we for a moment just appreciate what is in those? Appreciate these little multi flavor beans. Look at these beans, honey. Honey. <laughs> I got his. He's so cute. Good play on like an accordion. Don't squeeze my baby. <laughs> Don't squeeze the charm. Oh, honey. There he goes. Okay, bye. Oh, no, just kidding. You're still here. <laughs>